All right, it's going to be going through this code wars problem. You need to create a simple select statement that returns all columns from the people table and join to the sales table. So you can return the count of all sales and rank each person by their sale count. Um, you should return all people's fields as well as the sale count in the, in the rank as sales rank. Um, all right, well, to start, I'm just gonna take a look at the people table. I'd just like to start with taking a look at both tables. And am I recording? I am recording. So it has the ID and the name. And then let's join. I'm not typing. Um, join the sales table. Join sales on um, people dot id equals sales dot people id. We can try that. Make sure we can join it. Oh, this limit five is in the wrong spot. If I want to keep that, it needs to be at the end. So this person bought that and um, cool. So I want to make sure I know what I'm supposed to do. Return all, pe all people fields, so ID and name, as well as the sale count as sale count in the rank as sale count as sales rank. Huh. Um, so let me do a group by people.id and um, so do ID or people.id, people.name, and then this is going to be count of sale as sale count. Let's see, let's see what this works. So has the sales counts. Um, and then, so I want to do a rank. Um, and ranks and this is Postgres. And what I mean by that is there's different, slightly different SQL languages. So we teach SQL Lite um, when they're doing Postgres, but um, it's like I had Googled this previously. Um, but rank, you have to specify some different things. Um, I'll find like a nice example. So. Um, yeah, you have to specify rank, then you have to specify what it's over, and that's what which column you wanted to do the rank by. And then um, you also need to specify whether it's in ascending order or descending order. Um, typically, um, you do it in descending order. So the um, highest, in this case, sale count will be rank number one. So um, can't always remember the syntax for rank, so you have to. So rank, parentheses, over, and then um, order, order by um, sale count. And I want to do this in descending order, I believe. Um, and I want to call this as sale rank. Let's just make sure that looks right. That looks right, so let's see. Here we go. So got an error. So 
Um, Sometimes it can cause problems, but depending on the order of how this is ran. So I'm wondering if this rank occurs before the group by. Sale count does not exist. If I do like a count of sale. Okay, this actually looks right. Um the uh, sale rank number one. Three, 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 six, seven, eight. Yeah, this does look right. So grab people ID, their name, did a count on sales, called that sale count. Did a rank, ordered it by the count of sales. Um, looks like they did the alias. So with the uh, SQL, it's not running and it doesn't run this line, then this line, then this line, then this line, then this line. It, run, it runs it out of order. So um, SQL run operation. Um, Yeah, it looks like they're kind of showing it. Um, yeah, so so first it runs the from, then it runs the join, then aware, group by, having, select, and order by. So um, you see this select statement is kind of being run at the end. So um, they don't have the, uh, um, well, we just ran the rank, but um, I'm not sure where it would be in this, to be honest. But um, basically what the point is, is that this select statement with that creating the alias was made after this rank. So that's why I throw an error. So let's attempt it. But cool. So that worked. Um, that is my solution. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.